Hello everyone, uh, I am Dr. Vinayak Kurle, a Senior Specialist in ENT and Head and Neck Surgery Department, Astra RV Hospital, JP Nagar. Today, let us talk about goiter. Before knowing goiter, where, what is the thyroid gland? It's a gland that is situated in the midline of the neck between the Adam's apple and the sternoclavicular joint. To look into what are its functions, basically, it is a gland that is mainly related to the body temperature, maintenance of the heart rate and in early childhood, neurological growth. So, let us see what is goiter actually. A goiter is nothing but a, neck, a thyroid swelling in the front of the neck. What are the causes? Usually, the causes can range from a simple hormonal deficiency, autoimmune diseases, that is the own cells of the body are destroying the thyroid gland or it can be because of a viral disease called decurrence thyroiditis which usually presents as a painful thyroid swelling or it can be a genetic cause and finally there can be a malignancy as well. To look into the symptomatology, patient usually presents into two, uh, two kinds of symptoms. One are the pressure symptoms, the other one is the hormone related symptoms. Pressure symptoms are usually because of compression of the thyroid gland on the surrounding structures. Compression symptoms usually include tightness of uh, neck, change in the voice, hoarseness of voice or difficulty in swallowing. Hormonal symptoms can range from increased in the sweating of the body or increase in the heart rate or palpitation and patient can also present to us with mood disorders like anxiety or depression and women usually presents with abnormal menstruation. So how is the goiter diagnosed? Goiter is diagnosed basically on two tests. One is ultrasonography and biopsy that is called as fine needle aspiration biopsy and it can also be added on with thyroid profile and antibody test. This tells us the baseline evaluation based on which a CT or an MRI can be added on based on the further evaluation by a clinician. So to look into the treatment of the disease, one is a medical line of treatment if there is hormonal dysfunction, the other one is surgical line of treatment based on again the uh, goiter swelling if there are no other hormonal dysfunction. First thing would be to correct the hormonal dysfunction, bring back the patient to euthyroid state, only, look, only then look in for surgical options. Now what are the surgical options we have? We, it can range from a simple hemithyroidectomy that is removal of a half of the gland in simple goiters to complete removal of the total gland and neck dissection if there is any spread of the cancer outside the thyroid gland. So what is the prognosis after removal? That means whether the disease will repeat. Uh, it all depends again on the patient presentation, the cause of the disease and the treatment options the patient has chosen. For example, if the patient is go undergone a simple hemithyroidectomy and for a simple goiter, the chances of repeatability are less. If the patient has undergone a hemithyroidectomy for a cancer, uh, for a small less than 4 cm or a 2 cm cancer, there are chances for recurrence. Only then the patient will be kept for regular follow-up. So the prognosis always depends on the cause of the disease. So finally to conclude, any thyroid swelling should not be neglected as any thyroid swelling even if it is a cancer can be cured if the patient presents early to ENT or an head and neck surgeon. Apart from goiter, we also look into other ENT and head and neck problems from high end surgeries like cochlear implant, thyroidectomy, parotidectomy to basic ENT procedures like tympanoplasty, mastoidectomy and septoplasty. For any further information, you can contact us at ENT department Astra RV Hospital, JP Nagar. We would be happy to help you out.